Hi guys, what's happening? Hope all of you are doing fine. Today we'll talk about AI in email marketing. I also run a course about AI for marketing and conduct a free webinar. Do check it out, the link is in the description. Email is one of the most important aspect of online marketing. You must know how AI can help you optimize your email campaigns. AI powered tools can be leveraged for write email subject lines, cluster or segment subscribers, personalize copy at individual level, optimize send times, clean up email lists, automatically create email newsletters. I'm going to show you a tool for each of these points. Let's begin with a very cool tool called rasa.io. It can help you create and schedule newsletter. I promise it'll be the easiest newsletter that you've ever sent that to for free. It is especially useful for websites that don't create a bunch of content every week. You can set up Rasa to pull in content from other sources that your subscribers will enjoy reading. And the best part is how Rasa leverages AI is that instead of sending the same thing to everyone, the AI picks up on the previous behavior of each subscriber to determine which article will be most relevant to each reader. Each subscriber gets a totally personalized version tailored to their own unique interest. Isn't that such a cool way to use AI? Let me give you a quick tutorial of how it's done. Once you've signed up, you should be at dashboard.rasa.io. To begin with, you need to add some sources from where it can pull in the content. Like you could add a blog or RSS feed, Twitter, YouTube channel, Facebook. It will then pull in the content and it will show up in your upcoming section. Then you need to design your newsletter. You can choose from these templates. You can customize the font and color, header logo, footer, images and text, article settings where you can tell minimum and maximum number of articles to include in your newsletter. Then finally you have send settings. Here you need to authenticate your domain. Then you can preview your newsletter. Then you can add contacts. You can import them through a CSV file. You can also use a third party application like I have used Zapier to integrate Rasa with my Zoho CRM. So every time a lead enters my Zoho CRM, it will also go to Rasa through Zapier. Then you can schedule and you can define weekly, bi-weekly, which day, time, etc. It also gives you analytics like we can see here, daily stats and a bunch of other stuff. Now let's talk about how AI can help you cluster or segment your email subscribers. Machine learning can find patterns in your data that you might not be aware about. It can automatically create clusters in such a way that subscribers in the same group or a cluster are more similar in some sense to each other than to those in other clusters. Formulating personalized marketing strategies for each cluster can help you improve your ROI drastically. Imagine you own an e-commerce store. You have some basic data like customer ID, age, gender, annual income and spending score. Spending score is something you assign to the customer based on purchasing data. Now through cluster analysis, you want to understand your customers better so that your marketing team has a better sense of data to plan marketing strategies accordingly. This is IBM SPSS Modeler, a tool which can help you do segmentation, also known as cluster analysis. I created an unsupervised machine learning model using K-means algorithm, which is among the best algorithm for cluster analysis. In my AI for marketing course, we teach you from scratch how to do this, but for now, I will only share the results with you. We can see the algorithm has created five clusters. Cluster quality is 0.7, which is good. On the right, you can see the cluster sizes. Like we see, cluster 5 is the biggest with 40% of customers in it. To better understand, let me change the view from model summary to clusters. Click on show relative distribution. Now this is better view of data which can help you understand these clusters. We can also visualize these clusters to make sure they are not overlapping. By moving the graph, we can see five distinct clusters with no overlapping. You want to create a personalized strategy for each cluster. Like in cluster one, we have customers with low income and low spending score. 
we can name this cluster as sensible customers. In cluster two, we have customers with high income and high spending score. So these are our target customers. Cluster three represents high income and low spending score. So these are like careful customers. Cluster four segments people with low income and high spending score. So these could be called like careless customers. Whereas the final cluster five shows medium income and medium spending score. So these are your standard customers. We can formulate a specific marketing strategy for each cluster. To increase revenue from cluster one, which are sensible customers, we need to offer them heavy discounts, lure them with promotional offers. We need to offer them day-to-day -day products, emphasize on value and benefits. To increase revenue with cluster two, which is our target cluster, we need to offer them products that meet or exceed expectations. Products perfectly aligned to their wants, needs and desires. We also need to make them feel special and exclusive, exceptional service at all times, prompt responses to inquiries or questions. To increase revenue from cluster three, which are careful customers, they have money, but they spend less. We need to figure out strategies that will increase revenue from this segment. So we can lure them through cross-selling and upselling, offer loyalty programs, focus on visual branding and product packaging, establish trust through consistency. To increase revenue from cluster four, which are careless customers, we can focus on appealing merchandise display, focus on impulsive buying, create FOMO and scarcity. For cluster five, similar marketing strategies can be used as for cluster one. Now let's talk about how AI can create email subject lines better than humans. Phrasey enables AI-powered copywriting. They've developed a natural language generation system that can write marketing copy that sounds human and fits the brand's voice. Below are some sample subject lines created by Phrasey for Domino's Pizza. One of them is written by a human and the rest by the machine. Can you figure out which one? Well, it is impossible to know, right? AI can write language at scale indistinguishable from what humans write. They've also developed a deep learning engine that can predict what language will and won't work before it is sent out in the real world with greater accuracy than any human. This is real power. If humans have to predict which line will work the best, then everyone will have their own cognitive biases, but machines don't have biases. On the left side, the subject lines are ranked according to their real-world performance based on open rates. On the right is what Frazee's deep learning model predicted. Pretty impressive, right? They are quite accurate. Frazee can be used anywhere like for writing your social media ads and posts, SMS, landing page, copy, display ads or direct mails. Now let's talk about Atomic Reach and how their AI can help you personalize email copy for each individual. Personalization is more than just adding first name to your salutation. Your subscribers, your audience needs to feel that this email was written specifically for them. Atomic AI learns in real time how to write for your audience in a style they prefer. In one click, your subject lines and email copy are optimized with the ideal word choice and sentence structure. So your email catches your audience's attention and entices them to engage. Atomic AI allows you to attune your content to the preferred readability and emotional tone of each segment of your audience, helping you create email copy that drives engagement. Let me show you how it's done. I'd like to thank the Atomic AI team and especially Summer for sending out this video to me. Hi everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Atomic AI platform to improve your email performance. The first step is to integrate your email and performance data into Atomic AI platform so the AI can analyze and learn what works best for your audience. Click on your account name, then settings. Here you will see a list of available integrations, including HubSpot, Marketo, MailChimp. Click on connect. Then enter your account credentials and follow the instructions. If you are using a different email tool, contact us and we can discuss other ways for you to import your emails and data into our platform. Once that is finished, go to emails. Here you will see all your emails. 
Select one of these emails to optimize, or you can create new by clicking on Create New. Now you are in the editing environment. The first step is to refine your language by clicking on Start. Atomic AI will revise your email body, fixing on grammar and spelling mistakes, and improve the word choices and sentence structure to make your writing clearer and more concise. You can accept or reject changes one by one. You can also highlight an area and accept or reject all changes in selection. Once you're happy with your revised copy, click Confirm. Now your email copy is better written, but you want to optimize it for better engagement and conversion using your audience data. You also want to optimize your email title. That's what Atomic AI will do for you in the second step, Optimize. First, select a profile against which to optimize your email. If you haven't connected your email tool with Atomic AI, you will see only one profile called Universal Profile. Universal Profile will optimize your emails based on data from the entire web, including companies in all industries. If your past emails and data have been ingested into your Atomic AI platform, you will also see a profile called Your Audience Profile. This profile will optimize your emails based on your own content and data, which will result in more performance lift because this is specific to your audience. After you have selected a profile, click on Optimize. You will see that Atomic AI recommends better word choices for a number of words in your email body. These are the words that have the most impact on your email performance. Sometimes, you will see no word replacement recommendations because your copy has already matched with the formula defined by the profile. If you click on a word, you will see your original word and other alternatives, ranking in order of effectiveness. If you don't like the first option Atomic AI recommends, you can choose one of these alternatives. All the words have been replaced for you, so you don't have to do anything. You will also see structure and title insights, which you can apply to improve titles open braid. Once you've done all optimization, click on save and your email is ready to go. If you have any questions, email us at support at atomicreach.com. Now I'd like to mention a tool for optimizing send times using AI. It is called the 7 Sense. I'm sharing a very interesting blog article that explains how they use AI and other factors for optimizing send times. We'll also mention another tool for cleaning email list. It's called mail250.com. Do check them out. Also check out magicemail.io. It's an AI-powered email assistant that can summarize your emails right in your Gmail. It also generates professional emails from brief one-line descriptions. Get through all your emails 5x faster so you can free up more time for important work. Another interesting tool that I came across is called Kriya.ai. It finds relevant professionals and writes smart email introductions in minutes. So that'll be all for today's video. I hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure you smash that like button. Also hit subscribe if you want to see more such videos. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.